Hi YouTube and welcome, this is Treylock. this is uh, lecture 3 of the Python tutorial series. Uh, and now th there's only a little bit left till we get to the good stuff. So uh, what is a tuple? We, we remember that a tuple we can define as uh, two coordinates, so for example a, b, uh, or uh, 5, 10. So uh, now the tuple contains two values, but if we try to change, if we hit point zero and try to change it to something, 10, it throws us an error. It throws us an error because the tuple is immutable, we can't change the tuple. So what can we do to to change that in fact we can change it into a list so uh, we can say point or let's let's call it uh, l equals a list of point so we pass the tuple and we convert it to a thing called a list and so now l is actually a list and l of zero we can assign to anything 100 right l is mutable and then we can turn it back if we want point equals tuple of l so now we turn it back into a tuple, and now point is 100, but point is immutable, so you can't change point, right? Point is a tuple, L is a list. So what does, uh, how do you define an empty list? An empty list, in fact, you just put the equal sign and you put the square brackets, and that is an empty list. So now we have a list with nothing in it. Um, how do we put something in the list? We actually p use a function called append. So we append, uh, say, a value 5, and now we print L. L has this value 5, so we appended something to the end of the list. It grew, it made space, and it put a 5 in there. Uh, L dot append, we can append another one, 10. Uh, L dot append 3. And now we have a list with three elements, L5, 10, 3. In fact, a list has some other really useful functions. For example, we can... Um, we can append another 3, l dot append uh, 3, and then, uh, sorry, uh, l dot append uh, 3, and then we print out l, we get this list, and then we say, can say l dot count, uh, we can count the um, number of 3's in our list, which is 2, right, l dot count 3, and we can do l dot sort, um, L dot sorry all that sort with these parentheses which is calling a method um, and then we print L and we have a sorted list so now we, we can sort we can actually do L dot pop which removes the last element of the list so now we have the last element of the list and if we put L we have a shorter list so we can append we can uh, remove and we can sort uh, and in the next video we'll get to some cool uses of list thank you uh, have a nice day